What's going on guys? My name is Dead Meat. Today we're gonna be checking out some new hash, smoking out some new glass, and getting hella high. Let's check it out. So this right here is my brand new dab rig from Bear. Oh, is it gonna focus on that? Is it gonna focus on the bear? Is it gonna focus on the bear? Mm, nope. You can see it in the beauties that I just showed you though. This is my uh, my new Terp Hammer from uh, Bear Mountain Studios. These guys are the same guys that made my uh, my RBR. This is probably the favorite rig I've ever had. Um, like looks, it, it looks cool and shit, but the function on it's just amazing. The Terp Hammer is dope. It's a little bit of a smaller rig. It's a real like flavor saver type of rig. But man, does this thing fucking hug. Uh. So when you get a fire rig, that's only half of the equation to taking a fire dab. You also need some fire quartz. And that's what we got right here too. It's a brand new Slurpee from Evan Short. This is my brand new Evan Shore Slurpee. You can see on the bottom, it's got that, that little splash engraving. It's got the little Fibonacci sequence, the little Evan Shore logo on there. Came with this cool little hollow quartz pillar. It's a little bit shorter than my other one. The other one's the, the XL, the super long one. It's kind of made for the RBR. This one's been kind of toasted. It still chugs, you know what I mean? It's it's seasoned. It's seen, uh, it's seen quite a few dabs, but uh, The new one, fuck, I haven't even taken a dab yet and I'm already losing my words. The new one's just a fresh one, you know what I mean? It's always cool to take dabs off some fresh quartz. Um, I would say definitely, if you can only get fire quartz or a fire rig, definitely get fire quartz first, just because that's gonna make the, the biggest difference on what you're dabbing on. Fire hash will make a difference too. Boom, pop this on this. It's some 710, some Firewater 106. It's gonna be some firewood and key limeade cross. It's a really sweet, not earthy. It's a little bit more sour than something like their uh, the Starburst, but definitely a little more tropically than anything like the like the Guava, the Sugar Shack, or the Waffle House. These terps all warmed up and shit right here. Little fucking mixer up. See that shit? You see that shit? I don't know, you can see that shit on there, but I think we might need some more, some more beauties on the phone shot. <sighs> dab right, if you don't know what the dab right is, this is your, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. All right, so we got the rig, we got the banger, we got the, the pillar, we got the dab right, we got the torch, the rosin. Now it's time to take a dab. It's really important when you're heating your quartz so you get it like an even heat all around, especially like on the sides. I see a lot of people, especially with slurpers, only heat the bottom. Like you got to think like the main like working area, like where you're going to be taking your dab is primarily going to be like right up here on the sides. So you want to make sure everything is heated, but definitely want to make sure the sides is heated. And if you're using some kind of like a temperature device, like a dab right or a terpometer or whatever, if you're using a slurper, you definitely want to be like taking the temperature off the sides because that's where your rosin is going to be. So let's make sure we get a nice sizable dab right here. Let's get up in front of the camera. You're going to be able to see that. You're going to be able to see that. Take some shit out. This shit's wet. Wet, wet. A little dabble, do you? A little dabble, do you? No cap, your cap can't do that. Shout out Tales from the Crippy from Florida for making me this custom cap. Oh, <laughs> Terp Slayer. Whoa, that shit ripped. 
I'm not even gonna lie, that dab fucked me up. I'd fucking lay down on my bed for a minute. But we said gonna take another one. Ooh, ooh, that's a fucking banger right there, don't you know? That's gonna be a good ass fucking dab right there. If you guys wanna see some fire ass dab videos too, follow me on my Instagram. It's put like right somewhere on the screen. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can get it right in the middle, but uh, follow me on Instagram. It's Dead Meat OG. I post like nothing but dab videos in there. Um, Alright, so I think we're going uh, turp balls deep on this one. The the pillar's cool. It fucking rips. It definitely takes some uh, some heaters, but uh, I'm definitely a fan of the like a ball turp pearl better. I don't fuck with pills at all. Okay, let's get that motherfucker lined up. Like that, like that, like that. Ooh, there's still a little rising on that. Whoa. Damn, the ball lights up too, but it doesn't because it's too hot. Pick a shot another little dab right here. No? Alright, fuck that then. Fuck that then. I sentence you to 10 years for first degree turp murder. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Back to life. Back to life. That shit fucking. The first one put me on my ass. The fucking second one fucking picked me up off my ass, flipped me again, and put me right back down on my ass. Overall, that's how I'm pretty happy with the Turp Hammer. It's a, uh, it's a pretty cool rig. It's nothing crazy. It's just, uh, it's pretty, you know, basic, pretty simple. It does have a nice little double slit diffuser on both sides of it. Um, it's a little more than just a basic shower head perk. The quality on like any Bear Mountain, uh, almost said Bear Mountain Quartz, Bear Mountain Studios glass is, uh, is always really high. Um, I've been so happy with my, my RBR. Um, I'd like to get another one. They're pretty hard to get just because everybody knows that the quality is like super high on them. Um, this one smacks. I, I wouldn't put it on like the same level as the RBR. Um, they are totally different types of functions. You know what I mean? This one's a recycler and then this one's just the, the straight up most basic like one that they make. It's, you can see the similarities, you know what I mean? This is just kind of the middle part of that taken out with nothing of the crazy shit on there. Um, it still smacks though. It rips. It's a good little like on the go. Fits in a cup holder even though you shouldn't smoke and drive according to the law. But fits in a cup holder overall i'd probably give the the turp hammer probably like a seven seven point five out of ten you know what i mean it uh it rips it smacks it's definitely a heavy hitter um it's not something i i want to take my first dab of the day out of you know what i mean the rosin i'd probably give like a like a seven this time the the fire water is definitely one of my favorite strains it's uh it's a really tropically like sweet strain, but it's something that's not overpowering that I could smoke on all day. Like the the Starburst is amazing. I love the Starburst, but like I could probably take like two or three dabs of it at a time, and then I gotta take a dab of something else just because it leaves it's that lingering taste in your mouth. And like I love it, but at a certain point, it's a little too much. The the Fire Water is something I can dab on all day. This particular batch of it, I might have I might have tiered it a tier three instead of a tier two. Um, it's a little more on the not earthy side, but definitely more on the firewood than the key lime. Uh, the firewood's not a bad strain. It's definitely heavy on indica. Um, that smoky kind of camp woody flavor, like firewood. Is it firewood? Is it fucking? It's firewood. Firewood and key lime made. I keep saying key lime. Um, that's how good that shit is. I can't even remember the name of the strain. Uh, let me get a. 
three foot dab. Three foot dab. Let me get a three foot dab. Little baby bong. Big old bong that doesn't even fit on the motherfucking camera. Oh, this big fucking bong might just obliterate this pillar. I fucking hope so. Fucking god damn it. Fucking sizzle fucked my finger. The sizzle for shizzle fucking motherfuck. This shit right here though, sweet relief, comfort plus. This shit fucking awesome for burns. I tell you what. I tell you what. This is probably like the only topical brand that I'll ever use is Sweet Relief just because their stuff is all 14 to 1 THC dominant and it's the only shit that I've ever been able to actually tell it works. She's getting all saucy. Oh no. That's a good ass cap though. <laughs> yeah oh that shit shreds evan short slurpees are fucking fire Ooh. overall though i give the key lime overall is a strain probably 8 out of 10 maybe 8.25 this particular batch probably like a 6.8 Still fire, still gas, still smokes really good. Still better than probably fucking 60, 70% of the rosin on the market. I fuck with the medical jar. 710 is probably the only company doing like the, on the rec market, a medical jar 2.5. Um, it'd be dope to see some other brands start doing that. Um, I'm just trying not to cough. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's going to be the end of this video. Firewater, gas, Bear Mountain Studios, new Turp Hammer, gas, three foot bong, always fire. Firewater, fire dabs, fire emojis in the comments, please. Like, subscribe to the video if you want to see more dab video.